Wyatt, I want to get the words exactly right, so bear with me. Okay. I think the first thing everyone wants to know is what's it like being Captain America? I am Captain America. It's like living in um, sort of a, a cloud, I guess you can say right now. I, I have no idea. I don't have Instagram or social media or anything like that. So I'm, I live in sort of like another world of another realm. And I, I don't pay attention much. So I, th I think that's, <laughs> frankly, I think that's a really good call because I get it. The character is meant to be that cross between likable and unlikable. I understand. But I think fans go, not my Captain America. Yeah. Oh, totally. That's the point. He's, he's supposed to be polarized. The legacy of that shield is complicated. So that polarization aspect is, that's the, that's the serviceable aspect of, of, the, of the character and why I honestly thought it was interesting. I, I've been saying like being, being a Marvel punching bag is sort of like a badge of, of honor. So I, I, I'll, wear, I'll wear it proudly. I know all he has to do. A word of advice then, stay the hell out of my way. So you're avoiding social media. I totally understand that. But surely friends are sending you like WhatsApps of like memes that are going around or they're resisting. Yes. No, no, no. hundred percent. There's been a couple that are, that should win awards. They're genius. There's <laughs> some that are like, oh my God, this is, this person is a, is a genius. And either they were totally stoned and, and it hit them like a stroke of genius or they really are that smart, but there's been a couple amazing ones. The one I loved was Marvel consistently raising the bar of its VFX de-aging techniques and Carl from Up wearing the mask. The cowl. That's the best. It's honestly maybe the best thing I've ever seen. It my like <laughs> it's when I was I showed my <laughs> I showed my wife uh, and, and and a friend of mine had sent it, had sent me the photo where they do like a split screen of there's me and then there's there's the guy from Up. And it is, I can't describe to you, first of all, I love the movie Up. And if you don't cry in the first 20 minutes of Up, you have a problem with your soul. And so there was something about that where it's like, it's a huge compliment. I totally, <laughs> and, the, and for whatever reason, literally, when they put the superimposed the mask on him, he, he, I, it, it's uncanny. Uncanny. <laughs> people saying hashtag Walmart Captain America. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's great. I, I get that. This world is ours. There's no going back. It doesn't have to be a war. It already is. Erin, so big question that a lot of people are wondering, how exactly do you go about smashing a flag <laughs> oh my god um oh that's yeah that's hard i don't know i don't know kicking butt are you <laughs> are you willing to go on record right now and say that it might involve putting it in a freezer for a decent amount of time first uh sure yeah because i as soon as i heard it i went how do you do that exactly. Anyway, moving on. She's kicking ass on the top of two moving trucks. It's not a big deal. You can't lose this fight. <laughs> Tell me, what is the trick to that? I know there's green screen. I know it's all safe, but what is going on there? Um, the truck is probably about this high off the floor. <laughs> so no, it's, it's a little higher than that. But if I fell, it wouldn't have been a problem. And my stunt double, Hannah Scott, did all of the, the taller things. Yeah. And it does help when you're wearing an actual mask. Yeah. You can go... Is it me? Is it my stunt double? I can pretend. I was trying to work out which parts were me and which weren't. And it's really difficult when, the, when there's a mask. I think I figured it out though. I did quite a bit. <laughs> Hello girl, kick your ass. I know you played the long game here. 11 years ago, you went up for the original Captain America. You must be so pleased the way it's turned out. Finally getting to this point, I kind of think I came to it in the right time in my career where it's like, I don't need to... I don't need to worry about it. You know, it's just, it comes and it goes and other people, they take it on and they become the, they become the people who tell you what it is. I, I'm not, I'm just like a conduit. Get in. That's not happening. Have you ever actually met Chris Evans? Because if you were ever side by side in a photo, that would break the internet right now. Would it? 
For sure. Um, I have I ever met Chris Evans? I think I have. I think I, I I don't think I've like shook his hand, met him, but I think I've walked by him somewhere and been and like made eye contact. Is that it, and that doesn't count as that that counts as like <laughs> being a stalker. That doesn't count as meeting anybody. <laughs> but um I I guess yeah, I guess it would. You just gotta wait till the end of the series and then everybody will be like, oh well, I love it, hate it. I don't know. They'll react, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, Nine to symbols are dead and replaced. You okay? I've got to ask you about this tweet, which I saw the other day, which is, and I'm going to read it for you. Can we talk about Erin Kellyman, who's been in Star Wars and Marvel and is only 22? Oh, it oh, is popping my... off. Thousands <laughs> and thousands of likes. What? How does that feel, Marvel? Star Wars, 22. I don't know. It, I can't. I'm still trying to get my head around everything. It's not fully sunk in yet. I don't know when it's going to. I need a drink. Bring them inside. I don't know. It's the, it's the most surreal feeling. You never expect to do these things when you're thinking, oh, I want to be an actor. You never expect to go that far. Um, but I'm <laughs> feeling very blessed. I'm feeling very lucky. <laughs> How hard has it been not dropping spoilers with either friends or journalists like me? Solid. It has been so hard. <laughs> it's because I, I also I feel like they shouldn't have shown me the full series because it had been so long since we shot it. If they hadn't shown me, then I probably would have just forgotten <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to spoil anything. But no, it's OK. I've, I've been keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> what did you do when you got the role? Was there an element of just like celebrating, calling up your parents? Like, what did you do when you got it? Um, it's difficult because you can't tell anyone. So I got the call and my mom was there. So my mom knew. I can't lie. My mom knew about it. I was able to talk to my mom. But yeah, I can't. I think I had a takeaway. Nothing crazy. <laughs> but but I was so excited. But you can't really share it with anybody. So it's kind of tricky. How difficult is it not to break or corpse or just laugh when you're surrounded by the likes of Anthony Mackie, Sebastian Stan? Because I get the impression they're trying to make each other laugh all the time. It's so hard, especially Anthony. I don't like how casual you're being. You're welcome. Like, he'll just go from joking around and doing crazy things and then boom, he's in it. And it's like, well, you've just hyped me up and now I can't get in it that fast and he's ready to go. So it's difficult, but we got there. <laughs> we got there. Talk to Chris Evans about this, but how hard is it for you to act with a cowl on your head? Because you've got to really it's like, emote. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite literally, in my brain, impossible. I, and it was... It was like every every time you go into a scene, you do. I was begging them, be like, "Can I do it with my helmet off? <laughs> Please let me get my helmet off. All right, I'll do anything. I'll I'll give back my salary to take my helmet off." And and uh, but like, yeah, you got to do you got to do it, and you got to embrace it. And uh, and part of the interesting thing that I actually did like and played into maybe a little bit was that it was uncomfortable. And maybe this guy mm. is a little uncomfortable in the in the in the thing and that's why i'm i'm happy that it, it's it's uh, apparently coming through that there's an there's an inherent uncomfort how can that how can there not be if the guy was totally comfortable in the suit mm. then what would be interesting about that so there there's an inherent uncomfort in the the acting of it and then there's an inherent uncomfort in literally just wearing it it's like just a very uncomfortable thing to wear for me i found it uncomfortable seeing captain america using a pistol Oh yeah. I just was like, this is weird. Sure. Yeah. And that's, it's a, I, Marvel does a really, really very, very good job at, at throwing those things at you and making you feel uncomfortable because they know that that's, that's, we, those are conversations that we talked about, but this guy who is now playing Captain America, Steve Rogers, World War II, it was, it was less of a gray area culturally. We all knew Nazis were bad. Let's go kill them. Okay. There was nothing wrong with it. There was nothing. There was nobody saying maybe not. Now it's a different day and age where we fight existential wars. This is where this guy came from. We're going to hit him before it happens. Was that the right thing to do? Is it the right way to go about it? Uh, it's very difficult. People have different opinions. Lots of people have different opinions about different the way the way it is now. And our military is very different than it was. So this guy coming from a modern military background is going to be very different. Than, the Steve Rogers of old. And so it was almost like, well, he's got to have a gun. 
you know, how th- this guy, he would say to the, to the brass, like, my God, are we going to not give me a gun? I've, I've worked my entire career with a weapon. You have to give me a weapon. So um, I thought they did a pretty good job of writing the line. He's not going to use it all the time, but he's got one. Love it. Um, Why well, I've got to go, but let me say this before I do. Your beard is a dream and I have severe envy. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's, that's my truth. <laughs> okay, well, why it Thanks, is Alex. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum. Thank you.